Hello everyone, this is Stephanie Pettis in the Rolling Studio, or should I say at home with Stephanie in the Rolling Studio. Um, just wanted to take a quick minute. Um, I'm going to be trying to make my own envelope, and I'm only filming this because, heck, it's my first time doing anything. I don't have a fancy, a fancy, a fancy envelope machine maker or whatever they call those things. Uh, so I'm going to do it Stephanie's way because that's the way I like to do things. You don't have it, you improvise, adapt, and overcome. So what happened was my envelope that I was putting my card in that I altered for my uh, stick pin uh, challenge swap, uh, my card grew, grew, grew too thick for the original envelope that I had for it. So therefore, I'm going to recreate an envelope. Oops that will hopefully accommodate my card. Now, I've never done this, so this is Stephanie's way. When I say Stephanie's way is what I mean. I'm not a measurer um, by all means, but I can improvise. And what I'm gonna plan to do is I'm gonna do a quick little trace of the original envelope, and then I'm gonna do an overlay of a larger envelope and I'm going to make it wide enough where I can make it sort of a boxy pocket because here is my card and I'm only showing this to you guys because I know that she's already received her package so uh, this is the card that I made this was a base card um, that I had gotten a while back and I know you're supposed to be making card stocks and that kind of stuff but I don't have time for that right now even though it would have been a quick pick, but it was the perfect mint green, which was one of the colors uh, I had asked her what colors we wanted to swap with. When we did our swap, she told me her colors. I told her mine. So hers was mint, purple, and pink. And, uh, of course, I had to throw a little blue because I wanted some of this to be me, too. Um, but this is her card. And since her stick pin cushion was a masquerade mask and a light-up masquerade mask uh, base, with a pin cushion base. Um, I wanted the theme of her card to continue with the stick pin challenge. So this is it. Um, some pearl trim, some bling bling. I took a piece of that foam that you get at Walmart. This is one of the little cheap pieces of foam. I did a quick little hand cut out of that and then I made a mask out of it. I just did a freestyle cut. So I hope it looks all right. And then I just put a little jewels and then some stickles on that mask and then a few little crystals. Uh, I was thinking about hanging maybe some pearls on there. I might still do that because uh, I haven't sent this out to her yet. Uh, I guess we'll find out if I do that or not <laughs> when she gets it. But um, anyways, for now, this is what it looks like. And here's the inside. It's so cute, if I might say so myself. Um, I still got to get the little spider webs from the glue gun out. But um, I basically made a little flower out of the trim, the lace trim here. Uh, if you look at the lace trim, it's individually little appliques. Can you see that? Let me try to get a focus on that. Okay, anyway, what I did was, in the video, you'll see that I cut out these little appliques, so I made them as little petals. Basically, uh, I wrote her a little note, and then I took some tool, like this, and I ended up covering the card, just because it just hit me. It hit me to do it. I thought it was absolutely cute. I don't know if anyone's ever done this. I've never seen it because I don't make cards. I'm not into card making yet. This is my very first card. So I put this tool over it and then I cleaned it up with some pearls, some lace trim, some other other lace trim, a little thicker lace trim, some uh, vintage -y pearls here. These are a flat back pearl stickies. Um, I took these little appliques and made little rose or little flower buds. And I stuck them all over. <clears throat> and then I made a flower out of those appliques. Topped it off with a uh, little embellished uh, jewel flower. And then put a little pearl on that. I tried to put a little tiny 
crystal, but it just wasn't working out. I thought the pearl looked better. And then the fourth stick pin. This stick pin crowns the masquerade mask, uh, the top of the head pin cushion uh, that you guys saw. If you saw it, if you didn't, check out my video that uh, I did. Uh, well, that I will be doing. I've done the video, and it should be, if, if you're watching this, it's been posted. Uh, she's received her gift because I'm not going to show this until she receives her gift. Anyway, I also used some material to um, choose a shoe. And this was the one I chose and I put it in the card too. So I just took a piece of material, fuss cut it out and glued it on there. Again, it was in the video. And just FYI, this little pink bead right here, I personally made. And I thought it was really cute. And I wanted to add it to her uh, stick pen. Because that's just a part of my work going into the project. So anyways, I hope, you, um, I hope I'm successful in this video in making an envelope. And making it bigger for, to, to hold this. Because this original envelope was just too small. It didn't work. So I'm going to put it in time lapse. And we'll get started, and hopefully I can make this a successful video. All right, see you then.
think I'm done with this. I went off camera a little bit to finish some of this, but um, this is the back of the card. And as you can see, I used some of this trim. It's just decorative, fuzzy trim. I use various alcohol inks. This is a Boho Bohemian by Recollection, some Shimmer Mist, uh, some Shimmer Mist I made myself. Um, this one I made myself, uh, this blue one. And um, these are alcohol inks and Shimmer Smith. Shimmer Smith? <laughs> Shimmer Mist, uh, another one from Boho uh, Recollections, and this one as well. This, mm, I don't know what colors these are. I guess they're labeled, but um, so cute. No, they are not labeled that I see of the color. But anyway, I sprayed that and got my uh, little fuzzy the colors I wanted made a double bow blinged it out I used paper cardstock trim 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 uh, flat back pearls little flowers um, on the front I've got uh, some pearl dangle trim and uh, actually it looks like I might need to glue that down right there a little bit in there um, anyway uh, my mom made this little doily and then I took some of this trim here little fuzzy trim here and again I uh, alcohol inked it and got some colors that I wanted I used these decorative his and hers uh, diamond confetti uh, just for accents and some bling uh, various bling. I used some uh, lentil acrylic uh, bead trim and uh, some other decorative stems here. I put a magnet on here so it would close. I did a little filigree for decorative opening so you don't see that ugly old magnet right there. So it opens up like so. I didn't go all the way across. I could have, but I didn't want to. Uh, I also shimmer mist uh, alcohol ink sprayed in here. And the card opens up. I put some purple paper there. And lace and bling. And this is what it turned out looking like. I love this little bling here and then the fuzzy covers it pretty well. Let me get a little close up there. Okay. Anyways, my lighting's not so good. Uh, it's all blinged out on this gold uh, jewelry piece. And I stuck it in the center. And again, my mom made me this doily. It's so cute. But I added some other trim. And so it's got a little bit of my mom in it. Um, but anyways, I thought it was really cute. It was a lot of fun. I've never done any kind of a uh, envelope. And if you watched the whole video, I really kind of didn't measure that much. And just kind of eyeballed a lot of it. And what didn't work, I made work. Uh, I had to start over. I had to start over one other time, and I decided if I messed up again, I would wing it and see where it went to. And I had no idea I was going to decorate it like this. It just kind of ended up that way. But I'm glad I did. Cause it's absolutely gorgeous. And I decided to poke a hole through here, put a jump ring, and a chain, and uh, a little jar of of glitter, just for decorative purposes, and a little uh, gold butterfly. And then you open this up. Here's the card one more time. Um, again, made the mask. And it goes with the card very well. There's the inside. Here is the stick pin that tops the crown of the, the cushion, the pin cushion of the, um, the base, the lit up base that I made. Put some stickles. 
it's just really cute. I, I love this project. I think it turned out really well. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and stick this in there and see how it fits after everything I've put on here. I hope my card fits because that was part of the problem from the first one. But look, it fits perfect, perfect, perfect. Uh oh, will it close? <laughs> um, yeah, we might have some issues there with the feather. Uh, magnet's not too strong now, so I'm gonna have to probably, I might have to take off this filigree. I don't know, I don't want to. It's cute that way. But uh, I'll work on it. Uh, see if I can get that to close a little better. The card's in there. And we are ready to rock and roll. Pamela Oxiding. I hope you like your card. Your card box. Your stick pins. And everything that I've made for you. This was my first challenge. This was my first stick pen. This was my first card. There's a lot of first in here. Uh, my first swap. Uh, I had fun. I enjoyed making it. Probably need to clean some of that up, but uh, I'm tired and I'm going to say good night. And I hope you enjoyed this. So thank you for joining me, Stephanie Pettis in the Roland Studio. I love it. I love it. Now to get this boxed up and shipped off and I will be posting this after I know she has received it so thank you Pamela uh, I appreciate your patience and waiting and uh, I hope the wait was worth it because here you go I think it's gorgeous I hope it's not too far out of your style it is your color scheme but um, I don't know if you're your preference uh, you got the showgirls because it was brand new I had done some showgirl pens and um, everything became the showgirl masquerade mask and showgirl so I hope you enjoy it I think it's wonderful and I love it and um, there it is okay guys well as always God bless I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you next time Bye.